Yo, what is up guys, it's Super Hoops here back with another video, and I just came back from watching the Raptors vs Nets game, and if I'm being honest, this was a terrible game for both teams. We got to see some great plays and performances, so I'm going to break it down for you guys, but before you do anything, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and comment what I should talk about next, but anyways, let's get straight into the video. So this game was pretty sloppy and out of control with basically every starter player on both teams sitting out for this game. This game is pretty terrible for both teams with the Nets shooting 31% as a team while having 18 turnovers. And for the Raptors, they shot 41% as a team and had 22 turnovers. This game was so bad that in the second quarter, the Raptors only scored 10 points and the Nets only scored 8 points. To be fair, both teams basically played with the end of their benches for basically the entire game, but we did get to see some good performances, so let's get straight into it. So first we have Delano Banton. He didn't have an efficient game, but he did do a bunch of other things to help the team with his playmaking and defense. He ended up with 9 points, 9 rebounds, 4 assists, and 2 steals. He showed great potential in this game, and yeah, I know he wasn't efficient, but we did get to see some huge flashes of what he could do in the future. He almost had a double-double with points and rebounds as a point guard, and yes, I know he's 6'9", but still. And he also had 4 assists, but Freddie Gillespie probably costed him like 6 potential assists. But anyways, besides efficiency, Banton had a great game. Next, we have Alizé Johnson. He's been great for the Nets, but he was inefficient today. But like Banton, he did a bunch of other things to help his team. He finished with 11 points, 13 rebounds, and 5 assists. As a Raptors fan, I was pretty mad that we didn't sign him after he had a tremendous run in the G League. But for the Nets, they've gotten themselves a great young piece for themselves and could possibly even help the Nets as soon as next season, depending on their rotations. Johnson's shot didn't fall much, but he did a bunch of other things having 5 assists, showing his playmaking skills to help his teammates, and his amazing 13 rebounds, fighting for the boards every play, and overall having a great game. Next we have Matt Morgan, a point guard from the Raptors 905, finishing with 24 points and 9 assists while shooting 9 for 12 from the field, and 4 for 6 from 3. He was balling out this game, barely missing any shots, and helping the team with their struggles throughout the game. This summer league game didn't really didn't really matter much, so practically every player on the team is trying to fight for a possible roster spot for the actual Toronto Raptors team, and Matt Morgan definitely showed up, and I would be pretty happy if we did sign him, especially with Kyle Lowry leaving and us not really having a third string of point guard. We do have Delano Banton, but he could play 1-3, through three, so he's pretty much a posi positionless player, so signing Matt Morgan t could definitely be a possibility. Now we move on to the recap portion of this video where I'll briefly explain some of the good performances. Jalen Adams had a great game putting up 16 points, 13 rebounds as a guard while going 6 for 16 from the field. He showed how his shot can be lethal but he also showed that his shot could be way off as well. Despite him having a good game, there was one sequence where he was in the paint and missed 4 or 5 shots in a row and got the offensive rebounds for every shot so that's probably where most of his boards came from but still a good game for him. Quindary Weatherspoon also had a great game, finishing with 11 points and 4 steals. He showed up tonight, making smart plays and making some shots. Brandon Knight, the human lowlight reel, finished with 15 points, 2 rebounds, and 2 assists while going 6 for 16 from the field. He made some good shots and also took some bad shots as well, and we're probably not going to see him back in the M in a NBA uniform, but this could be viewed as a good game for him. But that is it for you guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys later, goodbye.